may be punchy. I didn't go out of sleep. <laughs> the tail of the iron. At first, all you could see was sagebrush. The mountains and the valleys and the hills were covered with sagebrush with yellow blossoms everywhere you looked. And in between the sagebrush running around was a river. Some places it was wide, some places it was narrow with high rocks on each side. And the river ran and ran. It was called the snake. Nobody knew where the snake got its name. Was it because it was treacherous or because it wound like a snake? About this time, gold was discovered in Virginia City, Montana. Now, can you believe the furthest place, the closest place, was St. Louis to get a lot of supplies, 1,600 miles away. Can you imagine how long it would take to get supplies from Virginia City to Salt Lake City and then travel by stagecoach 350 miles north a long time? Now, one of the men who carried the supplies from Salt Lake to Virginia City was Matt Taylor. He hated to eat lunch along the Snake River. There were mosquitoes everywhere. They swarmed around him and bit him. He hated to eat lunch there. There was one place by the river where the rocks were really high, the river beneath. There were no mosquitoes there, and that's where he liked to eat his lunch. He liked to sit there and watch an eagle. There was a huge eagle that circled around before it landed on its nest nearby. One day as he was eating his lunch, he thought, I wonder how far it is from this side of the river to the other. He had a piece of twine. He tied a little rock around and threw it across and pulled it taut 83 feet. He thought, you know, People are going to Oregon all the time. If I could build a bridge over here and charge, I wouldn't have to deliver freight. So that is what he did. Now he thought Matt Taylor Bridge was not too romantic. So he named it the Eagle Rock Old Bridge and he built a cabin by it. Now the people who were in charge of the gold from Virginia City to go to Salt Lake before it went to the snow. They had so many robberies. They say there are still rumors of gold hidden at the mouth of some canyons or on an island in the middle of the river. There were so many robberies. And so the people in charge of the gold thought, if we could build a stagecoach station by that toll bridge, we could lock the gold up at night and we wouldn't have so many robbers. But they needed someone who was very brave and fearless and a good shot. They looked all over. They found Emma Corbett in Montana. She weighed 431 pounds when she left Montana, and she could outshoot any man. So she ran the stagecoach station. Now, there are still a few beaver around. A lot of beaver trappers were starting to do other things. There was one man from England. His name was Richard Lay Hunt, but he could find beaver where there weren't none. So his name was Beaver Dick. Now, Beaver <laughs> Dick had a beautiful Indian wife named Jenny. And if you're lucky enough to go to the Grand Teton Park, there's a beautiful, big, deep blue pristine lake with no buildings around it. You can ride the boat across. It's named Jenny's Lake after Beaver Dick's wife. Well, you know, the men began to congregate in the store what Emma Corbett had. There was a big pop and it stove in the center of the store. And it was a cold day, and she was ironing with a flat iron. You know those irons they had in the old days? You ironed like this, and it got cold. You put it on top of the stove, it heated, you ironed again. Well, these men were all trying to outdo each other with stories. And when it was Beaver Dick's turn, he began to tell how he had beaten Jenny. <coughs> Emma Corbett picked up her iron, and she threw it at Beaver Dick. It pierced the hairs on his head and went right through the door. Man, you just had shivering. She said, I aim to miss, but if you ever lay a hand on Jenny again, I'll aim to hit. He was nice to Jenny ever after. 
Well, you know, that bridge is gone. Right next to it is a great big bridge. The eagle's gone. And the people found they could take water out of that river and canals, and the ground was fertile, and they thought, we want to build a town here. They thought Eagle Rock doesn't sound too good. <coughs> so they built falls in the middle, and they called it Idaho Falls. Oh. And you know the people going over that bridge today, they can see where the old bridge was, and the Eagle had just this. They don't remember anything but the day that and the carpet through the iron of your dick.